Percentages were invented by Nigel, who lives just outside of Watford, one Wednesday afternoon. He drew a quick map to his house, showing that you need to take the road in between the two trees. OK, I might have made all of that up. So what are percentages? Well, the word percent means out of a hundred. And in its simplest form, this is what a percentage is. It's a number out of a hundred. So if you had a grid made up of a hundred squares and shaded ten of those squares red, then 10% of your grid is now red. Make 50 of those boxes green and 50% of your grid is now green. Percentages are always represented by this symbol. Thanks, Nigel. So any time you see a number with this symbol after it, then you'll know that it's a percentage and that it's out of 100. Probably the most common use for percentages is when you see a special offer for something. Here are some common percentages. But how can you work out exactly what sort of saving you're going to make? There's a couple of ways that you can do this. Let's say that you wanted to buy something for £30 and there was an offer of 15% off. The first way that we can work this out is to turn your percentage into a decimal. 15% as a decimal is shown as 0 0.15 because it's 15 hundredths of a whole number. If you are ever unsure of how to turn a percentage into a decimal, then you can also divide it by 100 to get your answer. If you multiply 0 0.15 by £30, then you will get your saving, £4.50. £30 take £4.50 is £25.50. So that's how much you'll have to pay with 15% off. What about if you wanted to buy something that was usually £50 but had 30% off? Well, turn the 30% into a decimal to make 0 0.30 and then times that by £50 to get £15. £50 less £15 is 35 quid. Bargain! The other thing that's worth knowing is that percentages, decimals and fractions are all closely linked and very often show the same information. You've already seen that 15% is the same as 0.15 and that 30% is the same as 0.30. Well, these are also the same as 15 hundredths and 30 hundredths if you wanted to show them as fractions. Some common fractions that you might see are one tenth, one quarter, and one half. One tenth is the same as 10%, because 10 goes into 100 10 times. One quarter is the same as 25%, because 25 goes into 100 four times. And a half is the same as 50%, because 50 goes into 100 two times. So how does knowing this help you work out how much you'll save if something cost £45 and had 50% off? Well, another way to work this out is to look at the fraction. 50% is the same as a half, and you can work out the saving by dividing the price on the bottom number of the fraction and then times it by the number on the top. So £45 divided by 2 is £22.50. Times this by 1 and it's still £22.50, so that's your answer. See if you can get this one. 25% off something costing £60. To help you out, remember that 25% is the same as one quarter. Did you get it? If you divided £60 by 4 and then times that by 1, then you probably noticed that your saving is £15. Well done if you got it right. So let's recap. Percent means out of 100 and is represented by this symbol. 
If you want to work out a percentage of something, such as a price, then you can either turn the percentage into a decimal and then times that by the original price, or turn the percentage into a fraction and then divide the price by the number on the bottom of the fraction and then times it by the number on the top. For more on this, check out the Popcorn Skills videos on decimals and fractions.